president. All right, we're getting a new indication today about just how some Canadians are feeling the impact of high interest rates, the rising cost of living. This is a new report from the folks at Equifax. Uh, credit card balances in this country have reached an all-time high. Credit card balances hitting a high of $107.4 billion in the second quarter of this year. Meanwhile, the Canadian consumer debt reaching $2.4 trillion in the second quarter. The report also found the average non-mortgage debt per consumer edging up to just over $21,000. Gives you a sense of where things stand and just how bad it actually is for some Canadians here. Let's bring in Sean Cooper. He's a personal finance journalist, mortgage broker, author of Burn Your Mortgage. And Sean, good to have you joining us here. Appreciate you. Hi, great to be with you. Yeah. Thank so, you. yeah. Are you surprised by some of these numbers? Not really. With uh, interest rates going up as, as much as they have, as Jennifer mentioned earlier, about 10 rate hikes since the beginning of when rates went up. It doesn't really surprise me. The cost of living has been challenging for a lot of Canadians. So doesn't really surprise me. Credit cards have been a way that a lot of Canadians have been able to manage their cash flow, but it's definitely going to end up being challenging later on once that catches up with them. Yeah, we're also hearing that, you know, a uh, part of this, people not paying off their full balance every month too. What's that an indication of for you? Yes, yeah, so it's just the fact that the cost of living has gotten out of control for many Canadians. People are struggling to pay for the necessities of life like food and transportation and the house of uh, the cost of housing as well with uh, basically any debt that's tied to prime rate the variable rate mortgages uh, as well as lines of credit many people took on a, a lot of debt when interest rates were low and nobody really predicted that the rates would go up as, as quickly as they did so people's payments have just become uh, not not very manageable and, and uh, credit cards are kind of like a last resort to be able to manage your cash flow there. So I think cost of living has and high inflation has a lot to do with it. Yeah, and I know that the issue of a budget or lack thereof can also be a factor here uh, for some people. Uh, your read on that. Yes, that's a great point, Todd. Uh, stats show that about half of Canadians live paycheck to paycheck and it's so easy to spend your money these days. The charges for like Netflix and other services, $10 a month may not seem like a lot, but when you're paying for 10 or 15 of those services like that, it can really add up uh, a lot. So having a budget has never been more important. Of course, it doesn't solve ev uh, everything, but certainly being mindful of your spending and doing a better job of tracking it can certainly um, help in, in the current high interest environment that we're in. Sean, appreciate you taking the time for us today to weigh in on this report. Credit card balances hitting a record high in Canada. Much appreciated. Thank you. My pleasure, Todd.